Howdy, a rare talky video from me, Blue. It's pronounced Blue Gubrius, by the way, if you didn't know. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time here. This is not an in-depth video or review or anything like that. But this video is about the Kernum Ridge augmented overdrive pedal uh, that the guys um, in France made. And I didn't buy it to have another overdrive pedal. I bought it to replace the 9,000 overdrive pedals I had down here below. Yeah, in my room here in my office, I have a loop switcher down here, an old school straight up non-midi loop switcher. I've had a bunch of overdrives, all clones. I have a real tube screamer, but other than that, all of the other overdrives I have are clones. I love the sound in them. I get a sound I want and I leave it in my loop switcher and I never touch it again. So what's happened is I've, I've got a, a 14 loop switcher down here with all these overdrives that I love and there's just no room and I'm powering 14 pedals or something like that even more if you count the ones up here that I actually do change the settings on. So the Kernum Ridge was a goal of mine to get so that I could take all of those pedals off the board and hopefully still have the sounds. And turns out that I'm getting really close. So I wouldn't do for you a direct AB comparisons of the Kernum Ridge and every pedal I have or even a, a try to show you that it can replace good pedals or any other thing like that. If you have a real Klon, congratulations, uh, hold on to that, or a real uh, Tube Screamer or a real Blues Breaker or those kind of things. So I have approximations of those, my best guess, but the goal for me is not to have the real thing. The goal for me is to have the sounds I like. So um, uh, AM Guitar, I believe is his name. If I get that wrong, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm definitely gonna link to him below. He did a video saying the Kernum Ridge was great, but maybe not the pedal for him. And it was so helpful uh, the way he explained it. Turns out it is the pedal for me. So this is my second impression, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it. It's expensive, I don't have other expensive pedals. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just show you. I'm gonna run through and hopefully uh, when I put this together and you're watching this, you'll see uh, the pedals that this switcher down here, I have a MIDI switcher, the Ampero uh, Control by Hotone or Hotone, however you say it. It is MIDI controlling the Kernum Ridge. So I'll hopefully put pictures up so that you can see them with what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I have right now essentially 12 sounds that were my overdrives that I've approximated to the best of my ability in the Kernum Ridge and I can tell you they're pretty accurate. So, and then maybe what you might think about doing is asking yourself what is your sound, not my sound, or the exact blues breaker sound or the exact tube screamer sound or whatever, whatever's out there. Be careful going down that road of trying to sound like everybody else. I'm, I guess there's my per first piece of advice. Just sound like you. And that's what I love about this is you can tweak it to no end to get whatever sound you want. And these are sounds I have. I'm not gonna remember the names of them, so what I'll do is as I cycle through them and on the screen, I'll tell you what it's approximating. I'll give you, some of them I remember, but not all of them, because I have a lot of cheap overdrives. I don't remember the name of the cheap one. It might be a rat sound, but it's not a rat. So anyway, real quick, let's just go through these. So this first sound you're gonna hear, and then I'll just go through them quickly. The first sound is a modded uh, tube Screamer, not a real one. I do have a Tube Screamer, uh, whatever it's called, the TSDX or DC, whatever it is, the one that has four uh, models in it, the main TS9 and then two others. I used it and then I bought a clone uh, to replace it because it, when the power strip turns off, it turns off, it doesn't stay on. So I bought a clone to do what it does. So here's the approximation of it. I'm not gonna do AB, you're just gonna hear my sounds. Um, so a modded Tube Screamer, Keeley style modded. That's your sound. And it really, I, I can tell you, it sounds really close. Love it. So that's the first one. The second one is going to be a, I have a Klon clone that actually has a high gain setting. And I really love the sound. Of a lot of them are really close. I'll, I'll admit that in, in advance. They are very close. Love it. And then the next one here, I don't remember which one this is. Uh, off the top of my head, I'll put it on the screen because I, I have the I have a, a text file with all the names of the pedals in there, or at least the, what I'm trying to get to. Oh no, this is the Blues Breaker. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, this is I have a um, Demon Effects uh, King of Tone uh, clone. So yeah, this is this is the Blues Breaker side of it without the boost. I love it. I love that sound and I use it a lot when, when I'm just playing here in the office, in the studio slash office. This last one is the um, uh, Tai Chi, the Joyo Tai Chi, which is a Zen Drive clone. It's supposed to be a Dumble sound. A little more glassy. Really 
really nice uh, lead. Uh, George Dybowski, you use that thing really well, my friend. Okay, now on to the next bank. We move up uh, to bank two. And in bank two, I have a low gain clon. That's, a, that's really clonny. I like that pedal. I'll put the brand name of it, but this is a brand name one. This is not the K-Line cheap one. This one has a little bit more low end. It's a really good one, by the way. You can get it. It's an affordable pedal from uh, uh, Sweetwater, I think is where I got it. This is a Timmy by itself that I thought that uh, number three was, but this is the Timmy that's by itself. Just a uh, K-Line, not a real Timmy, a K-Line um, Pure Sky. One of those transparent style overdrives. Really great with humbuckers, even though I got the singles here. And what I'm doing, I, if I didn't tell you, I'm just, this is all the Kernum Ridge. Everything I'm doing here is just switching through the Kernum Ridge. It's over here, I'm and I'm switching through presets that I programmed on it with this Ampero control. This last one is a straight tube screamer. This is a real, the TS-808 circuit. I'll tell you something, if you're a, if you're a Tube Screamer purist, watch out, because one thing about the Tube Screamer that everybody knows is that it has some original signal in it. Uh, in other words, it's not completely a pure uh, overdriven signal. There, there's, there's some uh, original clean signal that goes through it, and the Kernum, I can, you can approximate that, but it's not in there. That's actually a plus for me. I'm happy that it doesn't have that clean signal in it. Uh, the next bank, I don't remember which ones these are. These I'll just put them on the screen for you when, when the time comes. Yeah, these are going to be the higher gain ones, like the uh, crunch boxes and things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll put them on the screen again. I'm trying to get like uh, Marshall type tones. Uh, that's why it's noisy in here. Rat kind of uh, Sir Riot clones. I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures of the pedal and the, the what it's supposed to be doing, but I'll, these will go through faster. I just don't use high gain sounds that much. So. That's, by the way, one of the best surprises of the Kernum Ridge is how many good high gain sounds you can get in it. So I might start playing more high gain stuff now that I can do it because I didn't have high gain pedals before, just a few. Sort of makes you want to metal, doesn't it? Okay, that's one. That's, this is the next one. Next one, higher gain setting. This one sounds a lot like another one, and I learned later that the two pedals I had were essentially different variations of the same circuit, so they sound a lot alike. And then last. A little more clean, a little more plexi kind of sounding, right? Other than my bad playing. I'll do a lot more videos with the Kernum later. Just for now, I'm, I think the main thing I would have you know, because almost all the videos I saw of the Kernum before were, uh, it looked like people were given the pedal to just sort of mess with it and show what it does. But what I was wondering before I bought it was, can it do what I want a, an overdrive pedal to do? Can I, can I sort of approximate the ones I have? Because I was looking at getting like uh, the modelers, you know, like a, uh, not a Helix, because I couldn't afford that, but something like a, you know, the, the Donner or the Moore ones or those other ones and, and thinking, can I get all those overdrive sounds I have in one pedal so that I don't have to dance around and I don't have all these power supplies and noise and everything else. And um, so the Kernum comes along and I just didn't see anybody showing what it might do for them. In other words, to, for an, any individual to make their own sounds with it. And so if I were you and you're looking for an overdrive pedal that you can dial in to your own sound, I would really consider it. It's expensive. I mean, I mean, well, for me, it's expensive. Maybe for you, it isn't. Maybe you can afford 300 US dollars or whatever it is. Uh, but I'm glad I bought it. I will tell you this. Uh, um, one thing that they they don't tell you on the on the videos, which I wish they did, is that turning the knobs on it. I love the guys at that pedal show. Uh, clearly, um, you know, I I love all the guitar guys. Clearly, I love the guitar guys on. YouTube, but um, one thing they that I wish more people would say or at least try to explain is when you turn the knobs on the Kernum, 
it's not like turning potentiometers, you know, like a more or less type thing. It's not like that. It, there, it's more. I, I was telling my family, it's more like if you had a breadboard with circuits on it, and you had the ability to just move components around. Uh, so move your diodes around or move move the capacitors around. I don't even know how those things work, but what I'm trying to say is when you turn knobs on the Kernum, the EQ knobs don't work like a normal EQ. Everything's really interactive. So let's say you have the mood knob in one place where the diodes are doing some kind of clipping. The uh, pre-tone knob acts completely different on that setting than it would in another setting. So it isn't just like a tone knob. It's not just like a bass or a treble. Th that might be confusing, but I actually love it because you really can dial in unique special sounds. Like you can go get close to Tube Screamer and then say, you know what would be nice is to have a Tube Screamer with a lot of bass, not just a little bass like the Keeley mod or a Klon, a Klon sound with that nice mid pokey mid range that g comes through the mix, but have it have a lot of gain because a Klon doesn't have a ton of gain. So there's a ton of things you can do with it if you like overdrive. And I happen to love overdrive. So that's, I'm keeping a few of my pedals, but for the most part, I've taken them all off the board down there. They're not in the loop anymore. And I can just click through this thing. Uh, you can have 128 presets in it. <laughs> so I, I'm on uh, 12 right now. I have 12 presets and I'm going to do more. So anyway, I hope this video helps you. I Even if it's just interesting to see this new kind of technology that isn't digital, it's analog, it's real circuitry, you can feel it. Like this sound right here, the, the modded, uh, the Keeley modded tube is a tube screamer with a little more gain and a little more meat, a little more bass, listen. But most tube screamers don't have that, uh, that much low end. Tube screamer is one of the pedals that I actually have a real one and a clone from uh, Chicago Stomp Works. Shout out to Chicago Stompworks, those guys are cool. Then I then I also have a modded Demon Effects, the red Tube Screamer. And I really love the beef of it, so it's not all nasal. If you're playing in a mix, you probably want a real Tube Screamer that, that is just a mid ragey But just, I jam a lot by myself in here. And I really love this thing, and man, the Kernum nailed it. I dialed it in very quickly. And so that's the kind of thing I'm talking about where you, like right now you're listening to my favorite sound in the Kernum, if I had known I could have gotten that, I wouldn't have bought all those overdrives. I would have just bought this one and started with it. But that's the goal I uh, for me making the video. That, that's why I, what I'm trying to do for you is say, if you just want a duplicate of your overdrives you have now, maybe it's for you. If you just want to spend $300 instead of $3,000 and get a Klon sound, you probably can. But that's not the main thing. If you're looking for your own sound and to be able to dial in your own tone and your own voice and your own sound, that's what I love about it. Is is there isn't a pedal on the market that is doing what my presets are doing. And I dialed in as much as I was able my old pedals to get it, but now with this thing I can really get close to what I hear in my head and what I, I want to produce here as I play and record. So hope that helps you. Kernum Ridge, um, good job you guys there at Kernum in France. Um, loving it so far. Take care.